What say you, fuzzy b****? Shawshank, anyone? You know, the part where the warden goes into the cell and he talks to the poster with Bridget Bardot on it. She's in like the caveman outfit, so it's like a little fur moment. And he's like, what say you, fuzzy britches? But I changed it to b****. Because this intro is too long and everyone just already clicked off. Uh, anyway, if you know, you know. But if you don't know, my name is B, and I'm on a mission to lose 100 pounds. I want to apologize ahead of time because we're experiencing some gale force winds. Just knocking the car back and forth. I don't know if you can hear that. Hopefully not. They actually subsided a bit as soon as I started going. Thank you, Mother Nature. Oh, she's back. Thanked her too soon. She's mad about global warming. Anyways, I kind of got off track a little bit at the end of December. Haven't worked out in like two weeks. And I have been dragging my feet to do anything physical. I've just opted out. I've stopped participating. And there's absolutely zero reason for it besides the fact that I feel like I have no time. But that's a freaking lie because my screen time report on my phone is just astronomical. The problem is not that I don't have time. The problem is that I am lazy. But as I was scrolling on my phone, as one does when procrastinating, I came across this video by Lucy Winham Reed and it had 88 million views. That's a lot of views. But the title of it was, I wrote it down because I was never gonna be able to remember it otherwise, is seven day challenge, seven minute workout to lose belly fat, home workout to lose inches, girlfriend was trying to get those keywords in there for the algorithm. Same. Except for I kind of give up on titles and I just kind of put whatever I want now. <laughs> and on the thumbnail it says seven minutes seven days to lose one to two inches. Two things came to mind when I saw this video. First of all seven minutes sounds like what my commitment level is at right now. And I'm also very curious how much progress we can make in a week working out seven minutes a day and eating good. And the second thing I thought of, a lot of fitness influencers recently have gotten some flack for thumbnails and video titles being clickbaity, you know, stuff like get abs in two weeks. Now the Lucy Windham Reed thumbnail's not really that at all because like it's one to two inches in a week and you know, you assume like wherever you start and then like you lose the one to two inches as opposed to like abs in two weeks or you know, stuff like that. But I was just kind of curious like what you guys think of that? Why do you think it is that people get upset? To me, as a YouTuber and as a viewer, I have zero problems with like the clickbaity fitness stuff. Just because in the videos that influencers typically mention caveats, like it depends where you're starting, it depends on how good you ate, it depends on if you're doing the exercises correctly. All of that stuff matters and I know that and I also know my own body. So I know belly fat just doesn't come off as easily on me. And also I don't really see any harm even if you get like zero results from it. Because I'm never gonna be like, oh no, you bamboozled me into moving my body and doing something to benefit my health for seven minutes a day. I could've used that seven minutes to play more Bloons TD6 on my phone. That's a game that involves monkeys and popping balloons and um, I would not recommend downloading it. <laughs> Cause A, it eats up your battery life and B, it wastes your actual life. So needless to say, this video is not sponsored by them, but this video is sponsored. Really quickly, let me interrupt today's video to tell you about our sponsor, Warby Parker. Now I know what you're thinking, Warby Parker would be an excellent name for a cat, but they're not in the business of felines with first and last names. Warby Parker is actually in the business of providing exceptional vision care online and in stores. They offer eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lenses, and even eye exams. If you're like me and recently let your spectacles slap around on the floorboards of your car for like one, maybe two days tops, and you've been a little bit in delusion about the scratches on them and you think that you could just live with it and you've been straining your eyes for the past few weeks resulting in massive headaches, you probably need new glasses. I need new glasses. So glasses at Warby Parker start out at $95 including prescription lenses, but they also have sunglasses, progressives, and blue light lenses available. I took Warby Parker's online quiz and ended up getting their at-home try-on kit, which is 100% free. They pay for the shipping, they send you out up to five frames, and they even include a return label so once you're done trying on the stuff, you could just slap the return label on and send it back. Best thing about it is there's no obligation to buy. So do you know what that means, ladies? Free fashion show. She's studious. Expecto Patronus. Hey girl, what's your Patronus? <laughs> She's a scientist researcher. She's looking for the cure. She's top in her field. We have a little turtle shell moment going on. Oh, we're gonna get copyright strike. <laughs> this is upsetting because I want them all. 
But David, the baby, it fell down the banaster. It was supposed to be my rose. I feel like she would wear these. Try five pairs of glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash Beatrice. Huge thank you to Warby Parker for the support. And now back to the video. Okay, so what's the plan? Obviously, we're gonna do the Lucy Windham Wright video every single day for these seven days. And I'm gonna be eating my normal 1,555 calories a day. Um, however, we are switching up the diet a little bit because I started keto today. And there is a dog party happening. So sorry about that. Oh, it's turning into a dog brawl. Animals fighting through the fence. Oh, the joys of low production value. <laughs> Maybe it's because he can hear me talking. I al <laughs> I already checked ahead. I already looked at the video to make sure I didn't need additional equipment to prevent another also, that's another thing about these workouts, they're for free. So I don't know why people complain about the titles. Okay, I'm gonna do the workout now. Come on, son. Come on. Finally. <laughs> you know how I was telling you about my mom's disgusting little dog that can't control its bowels? Well, it just peed. Like, see all of that little trail? It just peed all around the spot that I was gonna work out in. So we have to move locations. <sighs> these dogs. Okay, so first impressions. I don't know if it was because I was wearing these bright red pants or it's just the moves themselves, but I kind of felt like a clown. <laughs> like just flailing around. I mean, is this or is this not reminiscent of Pennywise? This one feels dumb as hell. I mean, ultimately, it's not that bad. At least I'm like getting out and moving my body. You're gonna feel silly sometimes when you work out, and it's just part of it, especially when you're like new to some exercises. For example, like right here. I don't know what I'm doing here. What's this move? I don't know, but I'm doing it. God, that dog has issues. More issues than me. That seven minutes was a struggle. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm a little bit more winded than I thought I would be. <laughs> you know, you think easy peasy, seven minutes. Uh, not when you're out of shape. Okay, cool. Good day one. So I figured that I would share a couple of the meals that I ate this week on keto, just to kind of give you an idea of what my diet looked like. Again, keto, tons of fat, like barely any carbs. You know I had to hit up these jalapeno papas. I call this recipe, I like it when you call me big jalapeno papa. That's a Bob's Burger level recipe title, so get on my level. I had a lot of eggs and bacon and breakfast sausage, that kind of stuff. So a lot of breakfast bowls, minus the tortilla. I had chipotle one night. They have a keto meal. Would not recommend the red salsa there. It's freaking hot. I love it as spicy, but not that as spicy. I couldn't even finish it, it was so spicy. And girl, I finished my food. I made an alfredo sauce one night, and that was super easy to make, and I just had it over some chicken and brussels sprouts. We made some balls of meat. They're dry as hell. Okay, so for lunch today, I am trying the Jimmy John's Unwitch, which is just like a lettuce wrap sandwich. It kind of just feels like I paid $8 for a head of lettuce. <laughs> struggle of getting out of the bread. I'm just contemplating if I just want to stay here and be like a fat little cherub baby on this cloud of a mattress for the rest of my life and just accept it. Maybe I should just get up because those little cherub babies are creepy. <laughs> Don't want to be creepy. Okay, we're exposed to the elements now. It's so much colder. 
country road take me home west virginia like those tiktoks good morning where's my tripod what do i do with things <laughs> indigestion <laughs> hair in a bun beep 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 bra on my boobs beep 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 pants on my snass beep 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 Everybody scream, everybody scream, crisscross. Everybody slap your hands. Wonderful. Chetty. So far this isn't getting any easier. I'm gonna go now, let Chetty have some privacy. I bamboozled my mother into working out with me. Do these striped pants look bad on me? Come on, Harley. They all look bad on me. I just don't like them. Because they remind me of that one guy. Oh, one guy. Jack Skellington. Okay, so this is our setup. You gotta stay within the camera. Don't move your head too much because I'm gonna have to put an elmo in front of it. <laughs> It has been a week. Please excuse all my squalor. And I'm very excited to jump into the results. But before we do so, I just want to reiterate because it's important. I was actually following a diet this week. I started keto. I'm doing a 30 day experiment with keto. Trust me, I'm documenting my entire experience. And that video will be live beginning of February when the experiment's over. You'll get all my thoughts and opinions on keto. But just letting you know, like that's the diet I did follow during this challenge. And also the only form of exercise says I did this week was the Lucy Wintam Reed video, the seven minutes a day. I didn't do anything outside of that. So just FYI. So when I weighed in at the beginning of this week, I weighed 226.3 pounds which was significantly higher than when I last weighed in on this channel. As I mentioned, I was like binging throughout the holidays and stuff, and I was really shocked to see that number. I didn't think that I had spiraled out of control that much, but you know, I did. <laughs> but ultimately, it's okay. I know that this journey is going to be like this cyclical struggle. I know it's definitely not just going to be a straight shot to success. The good news is we picked it back up and put it back on track before it got any worse or I lost any more progress. So I'm very excited to say when I stepped on the scale this morning, I weighed 222.5 pounds. That means that in a span of a week, I lost 3.8 pounds. So I'm absolutely thrilled. I mean, obviously a lot of that might be water weight. It might be due to minimal carbs. Anytime I start trying to lose weight, like the first week is always the best. I always drop the most weight and then it kind of like tapers off from there as it does. Because like, I don't think that the Lucy Windham Reed video was like the cause of this weight loss. I'm not burning like thousands of calories doing that. So I did my measurements a little bit differently than I typically do this time. I only measured two areas of my body. In Lucy's video, she suggests measuring at the narrowest part of your waist and then the widest part of your hips. So that's what I did. That's where I took my measurements to see if I would lose the one to two inches. Okay, getting into the measurement, here's the narrowest part of my waist and the widest part of my belly hip region. They kind of melt together on my body, so it's one of the same. I'm pretty sure I really wouldn't have hips if I didn't have a belly. Anyway, 
days. As you can see, pretty big change on my waist with a loss of 1.5 inches and then a very minimal loss on the widest part of my belly with only a fourth of an inch being lost. But remember at the beginning I was saying that my belly fat, the fattest part of my belly, is the very last thing that's probably going to go on me. It's just the way that my body decides to lose weight, so I was expecting this. But it's awesome that we got the 1.5 together. It's 1.75 inches lost, and it's right on par with the amount that the thumbnail of the Lucy Windham Reed video said that we would lose, so pretty cool. Here we have the front view. Not too much of a change that's noticeable. Honestly, I really wasn't expecting to visibly see the three pounds lost, but I figure for consistency, here's my before and after pictures. And this one, I guess you can see the belly go down a little bit here, but what in tarnation? Why is my fupa more pronounced in this one than in this one? That's concerning. And then here's the back view. It does look a little bit more snatched, a little bit more narrow through here, which actually might be accentuating this and making this look bigger because it doesn't look as big in this one to me. Am I the only one who sees that? So those are the results. Again, I wasn't really expecting that much of a change in one week of time. The important thing is that I got back on to some kind of exercise. I mean, seven minutes a day is really easy to commit to. I would highly recommend something like this if like you're just starting out or if you're trying to get back into exercising. It goes by super quickly and you don't even have time to dread it really. And I'm going to go ahead and link Lucy Windham Reed's channel down below because like I was looking through her catalog of videos and she also has videos on like seated cardio exercises. She also has longer videos. She also has more of like the short bursts of exercise ones. So if you didn't like the exercise in the ones that I did, there's like several more. But anyways, guys, I just want to thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the struggle, you could go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Caress that like button, perhaps. Have a good day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.